Holiday with the ball. Honor to Kumpo, outside. Back to Holiday. Just three to shoot. And here's Connaughton for three. The Bucks rebound. Pass to Middleton. Here's Honor to Kumpo. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Honor to Kumpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. Team Shooting for the wall. And he makes the first. Everybody knows Giannis is elite. But just in case you have any doubt, he's got a trophy case you'd need almost the whole team to lift. Here's Russell. Back to James. Left side, Russell. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Clark, honor to Kumpo's award. Certainly do put him in some rare company. Along with Jordan and Akeem, the dream. B.A., I mean, Giannis is one of three players ever to win MVP, finals MVP, and defensive player of the year. Rarified air indeed. Now here's Middleton. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. Here are the Lakers now. Now James. Pass to Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. LeBron James. Boy, making the right decision in pick and rolls, the right basketball play, James is excellent at that. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first foul. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Middleton with it. On the wing, Connaughton. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Out to Portis. Gets it to go from the corner. Improving as a playmaker, Giannis knows this is the next step in him becoming an even greater player. Davis, a screen. James with the ball. Guarded by Anadokounmpo. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. You know, Clark, only a handful of teams have won more individual MVP awards than the Bucks. That's really interesting, B. Hey, that you mentioned that. But that's how it goes when you have players like Kareem and Giannis walking through your door. And who knows, Giannis might have even more in him before he's done. Good on the shot. Middleton, a score by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Uses the glass on the layup. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Tries again. Out to Portis. Three-pointer off the mark. The Lakers trail. Right side, Russell. Pass to Davis. Back to Russell. Down to five on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Here's Middleton. Not going to go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. Outside Russell. And here's James. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Timeout call for the Lakers. Welcome to the floor. Both teams will make substitutions. All right. Time to 
Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Now, here is James. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Davis. Out to James. Over Middleton. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. 59 seconds left in the opening quarter. Anacumpo is doubled. An open look for Portis. It's good on the putback. Boy, such good instincts and agility. Makes Holiday really dangerous on the offensive glass. That time he fought to keep the play alive and got the bucket. Now, here is James. Anacumpo with the block. Pass to Allen. Now here's Middleton. The three ball. Davis with a rebound. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. James outside. Here's Reeves. And the powerful one-handed slam. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. For three, Allen. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Bucks ahead, leading by a point. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. That one's off. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Grab both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint, but they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post, whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Can't cash it in from close range. James up top. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. Middleton from the outside. Fires the three. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Middleton's got his first three points of the game. Here's James. And slam dunked by James. James throwing it down with that power dunk. You know, the defense can't allow him to get what he wants inside because that's easy picking for LeBron. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Shot clock at five. Oh, what a play. It snatched out of the air. Credit the block. And here's Holiday. Back to Allen. And another three for Milwaukee. Three point. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Bucks? You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs. 
Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Alan. Thanks for that. Well, you describe AD's games, and you start running out of superlatives. I mean, when this guy is healthy, he dominates in a different fashion, but in similar ways to Tim Duncan. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Well, teams are always hunting mismatches. Grant, I'll put it to you here. You prefer a speed advantage or a size advantage over your defender? Well, B.A., it's all about the mismatches. And going back to when I was young and actually had some speed, it, it was great to be able to have both. Depending upon who you went against, if a smaller player guarded you, use your size to shoot right over them. And if a bigger defender was on you, then yes, use your speed to turn the corner and get to the rim. So it depended upon who was guarding you. James attacking. And it's James with the jam. That's really how LeBron prefers to finish at full speed, driving hard and dictating the pace and keeping pressure on the defense. Back to Connaughton. Here's Lopez. Pass to Middleton. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Anacumpo controls the rebound and the putback. And the Bucks lead by two. Well, that's just a matter of outworking the defense there by Giannis, beating them to the glass and sending it right back. Rebound, Anthony Davis. James goes in. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Connaughton can't hit. He is tenacious. Love to watch him battle on the defensive glass. Pass to Davis. The three. Here's Reeves. Back to Vanderbilt. Lopez with the steal. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Holiday. And here's Connaughton for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Here's Anna Kumpo. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Bucks ahead. They're up by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your games. You're not gonna, it's not happening. Uh, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older, sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you. And you sure got the Lakers last season. James, that's good. Quick on the shot. Love watching LeBron go right up with that jump. And the foul on Brooke Lopez. That's his first foul of the game. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Welcome to the floor. The legendary. 
Fantastic. The Lakers trail. Outside Russell. Pass to Reeves. Off target from three-point range. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Back to Allen. And here's Lopez. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Russell with the ball. Now guarded by Crowder. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy belt. Three-pointer is up. Middleton fires in the triple. Middleton's got six here in the quarter. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Here's Davis. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Drew Holiday. You know, I tell you what, you can make a case he's the best player in the league. Davis is really the total pack at both ends of the floor, and he continues to get better. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. Here's Lopez. Rebound, Anthony Davis. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Pass to James. The three from Russell. The Lakers with another miss. And Grant, I guess for the Bucks, hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out, they fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be the second chance points. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. They're very true, B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player of all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. And the Bucks making a change here. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Both free throws good from James. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. Basket counts. Man, that assist title for LeBron. An incredible accomplishment for someone of his size, Clark. I bet you didn't know this, B.A., or maybe you did, because you are a factoid machine, but the only <laughs> player taller than LeBron to lead the league in the system, Wilt Chamberlain, when you throw in winning the bubble championship finals MVP, 2020 might have been LeBron's finest season. That's his first personal foul. That free throw, good from James. Word has it that LeBron spends over a million dollars keeping his body in shape. I think that's a big reason why he's been able to enjoy such a long career, making that kind of investment into the tool of his trade. To the middle. Here's Kumpo. That shot is off. Excellent D there from Davis. Pass to James. To the inside. Outside for Davis. 
And again, the Lakers, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. All right, time to on the team. And the Lakers with possession here. It's a one-point game. James outside. Left side, Russell. Right side, Davis. Six to shoot. For the lead. Honored a Kumpo with the block. You know, one reason Giannis has won Defensive Player of the Year is his agility and mobility. He can stay in front of guys and stay connected to shooters, too. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. To the paint. And the jam by Honored a Kumpo. Assist from for the aggressive approach from Giannis. I like it. Not settling for the layup. Instead, punching it on. That's the way you do it. The Lakers trail. Down low. Here's Davis. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. Pass to Portis. To Holiday inside. Here's Middleton. Middleton, and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. And now a seven-point Milwaukee lead. James can't get it to go. Anadokounmpo outside, stolen by Davis, and so it's the Milwaukee Bucks closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They're the Bucks, 36. And, and this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Here's Holiday. Middleton outside. Pass to Portis. Back to Middleton. Wide open. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Russell from outside. James outside. Davis a screen. James can't get it to go. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Here's Anadokounmpo. And a miss layup. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. They retain possession. The shot by James. No good. Here's Milwaukee. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. Pass to Allen. Anadokounmpo. Left side. Just five to shoot. Middleton with it. Portis for three. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Three. And it's just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Pass to Middleton. Fires from deep. 